It's happening, guys. It's happening. Thank you, Jesus. I feel like there's nothing to be worried about, but my ass wants to worry about something. So I'm just trying to talk myself off the ledge. So I was like, let me talk to the fam and let them know what's going on. What's up, fertility fam? Let's get these babies, ladies. Hello, hello. It's August 1st. All of my scripts have been called in. I just got a refill on this. I feel like I lost the other boxes because there's only like 10 days worth in here. So anyway, I've ordered some for this cycle. I haven't used any at all, but I know I need more than 10 days because I start on cycle day three and go until I don't so yeah anyway I just called the pharmacy and the doctor's office already called in the estradiol and the oh my god what was the other thing I needed I called in the Plaquenil on Friday the doctor's office just called in the estradiol oh I need to call CVS Caremark Pharmacy because I saw a note come up about my progesterone which I actually don't need the progesterone but I'll take it I need the needles I do need needles so that is coming i'm getting excited and what else is going on so we're just waiting on aunt flo to show up really um i gotta call cvs camera waiting on aunt flo it means i have been cleared financially because they don't order no scripts till they get their money sis so yeah oh my god i'm nervous i'm excited um the cycle is saying to me i am the last one that's from an old Universal movie when I was on the tour, when I was a tour guide. I can't even remember. Oh, it was something, I am the last dragon. I am the last dragon. I think it was Sean Connery. I don't know, child, I don't know. But yeah, I took my last progesterone pill yesterday, um, vaginally in the morning. I forgot, I meant to take the last one Saturday night, but I accidentally took one yesterday morning. So hopefully cycle day, three is like or I'm sorry cycle day one is Wednesday or Thursday hopefully Wednesday so I can go in on a Friday and not on a Saturday but we'll roll with these punches I have a Liberties game New York Liberties game on Wednesday night rather not have Aunt Flo but you know you gotta pick your poison sis you gotta pick your poison all right so this is finally happening all the stress and anxiety of that part is gone. So let's not cook up any new stress and anxiety. We're just gonna take it slow. We're gonna ease on down the road. Ease on down, ease on down, down the road. Don't you carry nothing that might be a load. Ease on down, ease on down the road. Come on, Michael Jackson, what? Uh, yes, all right, I've got a meeting in one minute. I guess I'll be calling CVS Caremark after that meeting. Good morning, Grand Rising. How you doing? Woo, I, did I talk to you guys today? I don't think I talked to you guys today. Uh, it is the 3rd of August, it's a Wednesday. AF has shown up. When you were young, did your grandma or great grandma or anybody in your life tell you, just keep on living? Baby, today is one of them just keep on living days for you girl, because I swear, sis, I never thought I would be excited to start my period. But like my great grandma said, just keep on living. Huh, the day will come. Oh yeah, okay, okay, oh yeah. Her little tail's going crazy. Oh, you can't see it, she's moving it now. She's like, why are you talking to them? You just finished work and you're not even talking to us. And technically you're talking to your phone mom. What Are you okay? Anyway, my more scripts came today. This, I ordered another box, even though I have the first box and I didn't use it because it says quantity four. And I was like, did they not give me enough boxes? Because there's only 10 in each box. So now I have 20. The pharmacist was like, no, it's because of the, it's 0.4 and there's 10 vials and that's your four. So I'm just like, it's weird because it's liquid where the other ones will say like quantity 90 and there's exactly 90 tablets in there. So anyway, I'm gonna take him at his word. I have my estradiol, I don't start this yet. I'm So I'm saying today, a AF showed up. Dear Aunt Flo, welcome to the party. But she showed up after three and she was spotty. So 
she doesn't get credit for a day one. Tomorrow will be day one, meaning Saturday is my day three. And I could have gone in on Friday, day two for blood work, excuse me. But I kind of like the Saturday vibe because then I'm not interrupting my workflow. So I am gonna go on Saturday for my cycle day three. And then that means a week later when I go to test for the Lovenox, whatever, I can't remember what it, I'll put it down here, whatever the name of that test is that I have to test for the Lovenox, um, will also land on a Saturday and I can just walk over to Quest on 125th Street, just past 110th Street. Oh wait, that's where I live. I live just past 110th Street. Where the hookers and the who run free, what? I don't know what, if it's a song for 125. If you know of a song for 125th Street, let me know down below. I'm sure, I'm sure if there is one of y'all knows. Anyway, let me stop being silly. So I had the, I got the estradiol, which is estrays or estrogen. I will start that on Saturday. Name it and claim it, sis. Name it and claim it. I got more of the Hydra, hydrochloroquine, which I always want to say hydroquinone, which is for your face, for your skin. Hydrochloroquine or plaquenil. I got more of that because I am going to run out like Maybe there is tomorrow. Sometime before Saturday, I'm running out. So let me not strain my brain trying to think of dates. And then I got my volume. I got um, 10 milligrams of, yeah, 10 milligrams of volume. That is gonna be on transfer day. What don't I have? You're right, I don't have the progesterone. I just ordered it yesterday. It's coming on Friday. And I originally was like, oh, I'll be home all day Friday so I can be here to get it. I had to call today and say, deliver it without a signature because I have acupuncture on Friday. And I'm going to get something done to my face Friday evening. My um, old therapy for the bottom. I don't know, I don't think I talked about it over here, but on my other channel, when I was doing face work, I didn't finish the old therapy, which is like a tightening. I want to do that before I start the hormones. So, cause that joke hurts, it hurts. And I don't know, you know, sometimes they say your skin is more sensitive when you're like either on your period or I'm assuming hormones like that. Like I know when I was getting my hoo-ha region Laser, they recommended that you not come in. Um, although I'm gonna be in my period when I start this, but yeah, th I'll be okay with that. I just don't want the extra hormones because if it's gonna hurt, then it's really, really, really gonna hurt. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta get it done because I know what you're thinking. Why would you wait? I don't know, sis. I don't know. I paid for it like back in February. I was gonna go in March, my uncle died. And then I just, when I came back, I didn't really feel like doing it. And I had set up a couple times. I was gonna do it the week I had off and then I had the black eyes. So I, obviously I couldn't get it done then. So anyway, girl, that's, that's in the past where we are today. So Friday night, like I think, well, evening, four o'clock, I head out to Queens. She's gonna pick me up. Oh, excuse me. Hopefully I might, I might, do a little bit of wacky tobacco because I, I just thought about that. I don't even know if this woman can drive. I mean, I'm sure she can drive, but my delicate heart, I don't know if my delicate heart can take it. Anyway, that's happening on Friday. Then Saturday, I will get up and go and do my blood work. So I'll update you then. And then Cheyenne and I are going to a lobster party out in Long Island. So yeah, anyway, oh my God, let me get it together. I need to get my salad. I need to finish my vitamins, but I did want to just check in with you guys. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Everything seems to be falling into place, which after I calm the F down makes sense. So I'm a little chill and I just finished work. It's like a, oh shit, it's 8.27. I probably worked till like 8.10. So I'm all tuckered out. I'm going to make a little salad and... It's like one of those pre I've been doing really well with my food. I did tacos last night. Um, it has like, some of it was pre-done and some of it wasn't, I think, like 
what am I saying? The chicken had been cooked already for the, it was like chicken street tacos. And I took a picture for Cheyenne. I'll put it over here somewhere. I had to reheat the tacos, but then I also made like, they're street tacos. So then I did like a little, um, chopped up a little onion and cilantro to put on there. It comes with salsa, it comes with the meat, it comes with the tortillas. And so you just have to like heat up the tortillas on both sides, like on a pan, heat up the meat. And then I did a little bit of um, the cilantro onions. It's not salsa, cilantro onions. I put the salsa that came with it on there. And I did lime, like I did a little squeeze of lime. So it was cute. And I had refried beans, um, some vegan refried beans that I heated up from like Annie's organic or whatever. And then I had some leftover brown rice from another meal. And so I just popped that in the microwave. So yeah, it was good. The girl tried to eat up all my chicken though. So that was good. Tonight, it's like a pre bag salad, but I had, I boiled some eggs, I have some avocado. So I'm gonna throw that in there. I don't know if it has any other protein. I didn't cook any other protein. The only thing I took out is ground beef, which I'm gonna use for tomorrow. I don't know what I was just like let me use this ground beef I need room in the freezer so whatever is needs to be done like I don't know what I'm gonna make with it like hamburgers maybe maybe meatballs I think I'll do some I don't have any sausage though I just have the hamburger we'll figure it out we'll figure it out <laughs> whatever it is she shall eat but yeah that's it so that's where um we're off to the races I'm gonna call it cycle day 0.5 but AF is in his house we finna knock it is out yeah it's happening guys it's happening thank you jesus in jesus name amen all right talk to you sad. grand rising oh god can you see me even hold on all right that's better grand rising i'm freaking out and i'm trying not to freak out so i thought i'd talk to you guys hopefully you can talk me down it's Friday, I know, I know. What are you like? Why are you here on Friday, Tanika? We thought we were gonna see you on Saturday. Well, you will, but my nerves are getting the better of me. Actually, I haven't even taken my all off yet. I need to do that, but my nerves are getting the better of me. Here's why. So today is technically cycle day two, but it is really, really light. And usually for me, cycle day two is super heavy. So it's not super light, like it's red, it's coming, it's all that fun stuff. But um, it's not like spotty, but it's not like that normal like gush. And now I'm second guessing myself because I didn't do any OPKs for the last cycle. And so, I meaning I never confirmed ovulation before I started the progesterone. I just like felt like, oh, I know my body, I've ovulated. And I wanted to delay starting my cycle until I was financially cleared and everything was like, medications were here and on their way which right now progesterone is on its way today but i have enough i checked oh my god that was a whole extravaganza you guys i had to throw out a lot of old medicine i had like femera in there i had old estradiol in there i had one old pregnancy test so i threw that away and i just cleaned out my whole med box but anyway the progesterone is already here so if it doesn't if there's something issue with the delivery today i'm not gonna worry about it but everything else i have i'm totally rambling off topic so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm afraid that this is not an actual period, that it's a breakthrough bleed. I don't know. So I don't know why I'm worried about it because I have my appointment tomorrow. We're going to find out tomorrow if that is the case. Then I have to, when I have that information, then make a decision or a decision has been made, right? Like I haven't, I won't be able to cycle this month. So of course I'm just second guessing. Should I have taken the progesterone? I did the best that I could with the information that I had at the time. So I just gotta calm down. But that's kind of what's going through my head. I have acupuncture later today. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, you ready to get in the bath? The girls are pretending like it's not their bath day. I have acupuncture later today. I'm gonna do that. And then I think I'm doing my all therapy tonight. I'm waiting for her. We confirm, but I have canceled so many times. I wanted to like reconfirm, confirm. Cause she's, we're meant to meet up at four. I have one call where, um, Oh my God, I can't remember what his name is on here. Butter. It, his name might not even be Butter on here. That might be on the other channel. It's the same person. Some of you guys watch both channels. I'm waiting on Butter to call me for an issue that I have to deal with on Monday. It's technically his day off, so I was trying to get on his calendar for nine o'clock Monday, but he was like, I would prefer to talk to you today. 
to give you guidance. So I was like, okay, cause I have to present to his boss on Monday about an issue. And I just want to like, make sure that I frame it right. And because he works with her so frequently, he can kind of like help me navigate through and avoid any landmines. So there's that going on too. But yeah, I'm just freaking out. I don't even know if I'm freaking out for a reason. This is the thing with anxiety. Like there's a logical part of you that knows that you cannot change it, even though their desire is to control. You cannot change it. Just like let time pass and the answers will be revealed. But there is the control freak in me or the desire to be a control freak because none of us can really control things, right? It's an illusion. There's a desire to control it that is now making me freak out, which is not healthy. (sighs) But overall, I'm good. I'm probably, it's too late for me to do yoga now. I have a meeting, another meeting in 10 minutes. I'll do yoga tonight. I'm wearing my retainers, if you're wondering. Oh, they make my teeth look yellow, right? My teeth are not that yellow. Anyway, I'm wearing my Invisalign retainers, so if I sound funny. Yeah, I just have a case of the nerves. I just gotta calm down. Eight o'clock is my appointment tomorrow. Also, <laughs> the other thing to be nervous about is I would, tomorrow would potentially be my first day of the Lovenox, which it'll be my first injection. I went yesterday to get my a second booster shot and the nurse was asking me something about blood clotting and I told her I'm starting heparin on, excuse me. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm starting heparin on Saturday if all goes well. So we started talking about that. And I was saying how like one of you ladies or one of the IG ladies was like, do it off to the side, don't rub it, go in slowly. And she concurred with all of that. Um, I was just telling her like, there's lots of chat room. I didn't tell her I had a channel, but I was like, there's lots of chat rooms. I talk with a lot of ladies on the internet, on the interwebs, me and the girls, me and my sisters chop it up. So anyway, that is, you know, unknown because I haven't done it before. It would be the estradiol and the Lovenox. Actually, everything. It would be everything. Lovenox, estradiol, aspirin, the baby aspirin, the um, calcium. There's something else I'm forgetting. Oh, I think just continue the omegas. That's the other line. I'm like reading it in my head. That's the other thing is continue with the omegas. I'm still on four grams a day until next Saturday, I think, is where it breaks. It's either next Saturday or Sunday. Next Saturday. Then I go down to three. So, yeah, I'm just nervous. I'm jittery. I thought I would talk to you guys. It's not that big a deal. I'm just going to stay hopeful and prayerful that this is an actual period, meaning I ovulated. Or if I didn't ovulate, that there is no cyst or anything going on and we can move forward. Because technically, you don't have to have... It doesn't have to be a period. Because there are some clinics that stop people from having a period by putting them on birth control and then they just have a breakthrough bleed so maybe it'll be like that the risk would be is if i had my body had geared up to ovulate and then i started the progesterone before it ovulated and then i have that egg in there sitting there trying to figure out what to do with itself which could potentially turn into a cyst so Last thing, I did send the scans. So just a quick recap, like I had talked to Dr. Badali. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it. I think it's over here. Um, And he said on my scans that he did or that his office had performed, my ultrasound scans, that it looked like I had adenomyosis. Adenomyosis, I always say it wrong. But basically it's endometriosis that's outside of the uterus. And so I... Or that's in the muscle. I can't remember. Don't quote me. Some of you guys have commented that you had it, that you had the Lupron protocol, didn't go into menopause and were fine. I think me and Dr. McConnell are in agreement. Like, let's not try that yet. However, I did send her the films from the scan and she was like, because that you, I also talked to her. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it over here. And she was like, you know, we hadn't seen it previously. And I had had multiple scans. I had had a hysteroscopy. I had had three biopsies, yada, yada, yada. However, when she saw these, she said, it does look suspicious for adenomyosis. Adenomyosis, adenomyosis. She agreed that we should stick to the protocol that we discussed at this point. And so I feel kind of like annoyed. I don't know if annoyed is the right word. 
I just feel like when I started this process, there was nothing that looked like adenomyosis and there was no fibroids. Now I have a fibroid that's like two, whatever, is it millimeters, centimeters? I have to go back and watch the video. Two by two by almost two, like 1.8 or something. We'll round up to two. So I have that fibroid now since starting these treatments. And now I have this where my uterine lining is going where it's not supposed to be. So that's kind of annoying. I just need this one to work out, guys. I need this to work out. I know I need to stay positive, but I'm having a moment. Hopefully it'll be okay. Hopefully everything will be fine tomorrow. So we'll see. The next time you see me, which is in a few seconds for you, an eternity for me, a less than 24 hours in real life, we'll have an answer. So I just gotta calm down and wait. I just gotta take it moment by moment, not even day by day. Let's just take it moment by moment. I'm gonna get on this call in five minutes. Then I'm gonna get dressed properly for acupuncture. And I think I'll work the rest of the day from the office because I'm supposed to meet Lobby at four. I'm waiting on her to confirm, confirm. And she lives all the way in Queens. So she's gonna drive us out there. And then I'll, she'll drive me back to some station so I can take a subway back into Manhattan. But she lives in a place where there are no, like where transportation doesn't go. So, oh. I think I'm gonna leave the girls here. I'm gonna try it for the, it's a little longer. I usually only leave them like between two to four hours at a time. But if I leave here at like one and I get back around 6.37, that's like six hours. I think that's a good test run. Cause now they've told us we gotta go back in the office three days a week. I don't think I wanna pay for daycare three days a week. I just feel like with all the money situation, that's not a good use of the money. But we'll test it out. I'm not opposed to spending the money on them, obviously for my babies, but other people leave their dogs at home. So I just have to like, I have the camera. I think I have to like cordon off where they can go. I have the two, what do you call those things? It's like the baby blockers, but for puppies, I guess it could be for babies too. It's, is it, it's a fence, like it pulls out. I'll show you guys. I, if I remember, I'll insert a photo of it. But like, Either maybe I'll keep them in the kitchen area or I'll keep them from the kitchen. I'm trying to figure it out. The only thing is I don't want them to go to the bathroom in my kitchen. That's gross. Um, but I could crack the door. They have their outdoor potty thing out there. The only thing with cracking the door is the AC is on. I don't want to leave them in here with no AC. Oh my God, it's too much. It's too much. I'll come up with a solution and I will see how it goes. It's not too warm today because like it's 80 degrees in here right now and I feel fine. I get a little chilly when it hits like 77. Okay, clearly I need to like meditate and get myself grounded. Let me get ready for this call and then I think I'll do a little bit of meditation <sighs> and just get grounded because I don't want to take myself on a roller coaster ride. It's not that deep. We're going to get a baby. It's going to be okay. It's going to be what it's going to be. I only can do what I can control. It's going to be what it's going to be. <sighs> Thanks for listening. All right. So I just had my um, 3A scan, cycle day 3 scan and blood work. There's a 12 millimeter cyst on the right ovary and there's four other follicles that are less than 10 so i asked her if that could be a cyst and she said oh, it'll depend on your um on your blood work so we shall see so i probably had not ovulated when i started the progesterone but hopefully my blood work is okay that i can go ahead and move forward Fingers crossed, prayers up. Hello. I'm dressed. I'm waiting on Cheyenne. We're going to Long Island for a lobster party. Uh oh, the girls are like, who's going where? Not you. Okay, stop, stop. Anyway, I am, come on, girls. I am cleared. I already took my estradiol. Oh my God, I took all the things. I took the Lovenox. 
it still burned. I did do it slow. It still burned. I have this little ice massager that I actually got from my face that I used. Um, so I took estradiol, prednisone, the calcium, the baby aspirin, and the Lobnox. I am going in, oh, I need to send an email to Linda over at BRI. But Monday, oh wait, Saturday, next Saturday, I'll need to take my, whatever that test is for the Lovenox reading. And then, so that'd be the 13th. And then Monday the 15th, I go in for, um, you know, lining check and make sure like no follicles are growing. Um, so yeah, anyway. This is another lesson, don't worry. It's gonna be okay, just take it easy. And then I'm gonna go have fun with Cheyenne. It's 9-11 p.m. It's 9-11 p.m. Uh-oh, hi. I do have on clothes. I have on my, I don't even know if you can see it. I have on one of my dresses from Hawaii. I'm watching Amira. She is testing. I'm only um, four minutes in, so don't tell me what happens. But I haven't seen her in a while and I click so fast. I was like, oh, I hope she's pregnant. Um, she's doing eight to 14 DPO. But I'm pretty sure she's pregnant because it says it was the symptoms for me. But don't tell me, don't tell me. I am, I just wanted to check in because I'm a little bit of a, of a hot mess.com. Everything is fine. First of all, everything is fine. That's what I just have to keep reminding myself. I started my shots on Saturday. They've been going fine. I have bruises everywhere I've put a shot in, but it's a tiny bruise like where the needle is going in, which makes sense because that's where all the medicine has to pass through in that one point before it spreads out. Doesn't hurt. I've used my little ice roller massage. If I get my life together, I'll show you guys one of the shots. Um, I just have to get it all set up. It's first thing in the morning, so, you know, I don't be up and popping like that. Um, yeah, I have my progesterone in there. I haven't unboxed it. I'm going in Saturday for my, uh, I already told you guys all this. I'm just rambling. I'm nervous. Like, I feel like there's nothing to be worried about, but my ass wants to worry about something. So I'm just trying to talk myself off the ledge. So I was like, let me talk to the fam and let them know what's going on. I also was watching, I've been watching a lot of um, pregnant videos today. So Mindy Minx, I watched her. Um, she did her maternity shoot today. I just told you guys I'm watching a mirror. She's about to do a test. I watched Abby and Mike. They had a ultrasound at 37 weeks with a big baby. Um, I've been watching Phil and Alex, which they're not even actively TTC. Well, they're gearing up. But anyway, so I feel like I'm at least back in the mood. I watched some vlogs today where before I was only watching like murder mysteries and, and what have you. Although I have been, this Anne Hache thing was crazy. And then the lady in LA, it's a black lady in LA, a nurse who went through a red light and killed like six people, which is also crazy. Um, one of them was a pregnant lady. So that obviously made me sad. I mean, not, I was sad about all of them, but it was the lady was pregnant and she had a one year old and they like, died a fiery death which is crazy so now that I say that that's probably not a good thing to be watching while I'm trying to battle my anxiety anyway I am making sweet and sour shrimp I made the rice first it's like in those one of those pre-pack kits I'm trying to get everything out of my freezer this isn't even that old let me back up I had some hamburger meat and I was like let me fry up the hamburger meat I had chopped up some onions and garlic and then I took it it was out of the freezer I took it out of the freezer like two days ago but it was fuzzy and then I was like is it fuzzy because it didn't thaw the way and it had like freezer burn on it or is it fuzzy because did I take it out before and it got mold and so anyway I wasn't fooling with that like I'm no I have to get some food because I got to take my prednisone which I'm late for I was supposed to take it at eight anyway you see how I'm a little scattered and this one oh my god oh you guys want to get a brush you want me to brush your hair mm -hmm. they got all away from here they've been running from that brush all day they just both ran back to their crate are you ready for a brush okay are you back let me find the brush what did i do with the brush where's the brush did i put it away you guys hid it from me uh-oh 
bath and brush that will get them to running anyway so i just wanted to talk to you guys i'm a little bit of a nervous wreck everything's going fine i take my test on saturday i said that already i go back in for monitoring on monday if everything is good i will i think i go to estradiol three times a week I don't know what to expect from the test on Saturday, except I know I'm going to Quest 125th Street. I already looked it up, mapped it out. I have to be there four hours after my shot. So if I take my shot at eight, what is that, 12? I have to be there by noon. I'll probably walk over there. I can't take the girls, but I'll probably like leave here at 11 unless it's just like crazy hot like it was yesterday, then I'm gonna get in a lift. No, we're gonna save money. I'll get on the subway. Yeah. I don't know where I left off. I want to get all of the food out of the freezer. That's what I was saying. Because some of the stuff has been in there for a minute. Like I have some liver that I need to make. Liver and onions. Um, and then the rest. Like I think Cheyenne's coming over tomorrow. I'm going to meet my um, fur babies. My fur grandbabies. She's coming over with the girls. But I think she has like. They're not chicken cut. Is it called a cutlet when it's not a full breast? Or is that like a fillet? Whatever it is, they're in sandwich bags. So I'm pretty sure they're freezer burn, but I don't want to just throw out her stuff. So I'm going to ask her. But then that's all got to come out. Like there's stuff in the freezer that's hella questionable. Like when did this get in here? And some of it is not vacuum sealed. So I know that it like the sandwich bag stuff. It's probably freezer burn. <sighs> yeah. So I'm gonna do that. I haven't been ordering any takeout food because especially I'm worried about my omegas. I had I did get a salad at work, but it wasn't like takeout per se. It was, you know, from the salad bar, it's supposed to be fresh. So, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, I'm gonna go check on my food. I'm gonna try to relax. I just was like, let me talk to the fam while I'm waiting on this um, sweet and sour shrimp to finish. And I made way too much rice, but you know what? We're gonna save it for another day. And I'm going to find my chopsticks and try to, like, you know, be civilized. <sighs> I still got to do my face. It was so hot yesterday. Oh, everything that wanted to be straight is not straight. So I'm going to have to put some product. I think I'll do, like, French braids and get, like, a wave. Because I don't feel like wet in my whole head right now. But some moisture. Some moisture, sis. will help it get the curls back. Oh, you guys are back? Did you bring a brush? They are so funny. I actually need to cut Justice's hair because she's getting tangled up and she does not want me to brush it. She does this thing where she likes to burrow herself in the ground. Liberty doesn't do that. Do you guys have dogs that do that? She just like... Where's the brush? All right, let me go, girl. Thank you for talking to me. I appreciate you. Headed to acupuncture. Um, I was here yesterday for the chiropractor, which, oh my God, snap, crackle, and pop, which was amazing. Hopefully, um, acupuncture, I'll fall asleep. I have had trouble since, um, I guess, Sunday falling asleep. I've been going to bed like midnight. No problem getting up, but it does make me tired. So, I'm gonna ask her for a unicorn and, um, yeah, just to take it down a notch because I'm working myself up for no reason at all. We're going to slow it all the way down, man. We're going to slow it all the way down. I think I said I went to the chiropractor yesterday. I actually went Tuesday. I worked from home yesterday. Um, okay. All right, all done. I think my forehead was bleeding. The heparin is no joke. It is definitely a blood thinner. Uh -oh, so let's get it. Okay, 
someone got on the elevator. As I was saying, I bleed very easily and I bruise even more easily, if that's even possible. I always bruise like a peach, but now it's, I'll show you, well, I don't need to show you. I have a bruise from acupuncture from last week. That's pretty nasty, but um, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm feeling better now. I'm glad I had that. I think as long as I keep the body calm and taken care of, I'll be okay. You know what I mean? My mind is, I just, you know, it's gonna have to just surrender. It's gonna have to surrender and get in line. And we'll just, you know, it will lead with the body. There you go. All right, I don't even know if you can hear me.